Hey. <laughs> so, welcome to day one. I'm going to call this something like get uncomfortable. You might think it might be get comfortable, sit in your nice chair, get your pipe and your glass of wine, chardonnay, your cognac. No, I want to get uncomfortable. I want to shake this up. I want to challenge you. I want to get you out of your comfort zone and get rolling on this because we've only got 31 days. In fact, we've got 30 left if we're starting. That's pepper, by the way. We're in the forest. This is my office. This is, okay, comfort zone. This is where I'm comfortable. Find a comfortable place and we're going to get uncomfortable about it, okay? Now, I know this is a course about writing a book. Do you see paper? Do you see a computer? No. I'm out here. I'm in the woods. There is no one here. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> There's no one. Hopefully I didn't like bust your, your speakers. Here's what I want to do. I want you to get uncomfortable with your topic. If you don't have a topic, that's okay. We're going to squeeze it out. It's like, it's like a thickness. Or like the old-fashioned, what did they have, like leeches, you know, that would suck the blood out of you? I never understood quite how that worked. Pretty disgusting. That would have freaked me out. But I want you to get in front of a camera. If that completely freaks you out, then just get in front of a microphone. It can be your phone, of course. Go to a, a safe place. Go to a safe, this place is safe for me. There's no one here. There's no, there's like deer, field mice, my dog. All right. And my dog's good. My dog knows this. My dog knows I do this. All right. But what's uncomfortable about it is I'm in front of the camera. I'm recording this. I'm going to send this out live to you. Right. You're watching me being uncomfortable. What am I doing? Because I'm out here in front of the camera and I'm going to challenge you to do the same. Okay. Now, the reason I say this is because a lot of people are scared to be in front of the camera. If you're not good, you've already surpassed one hurdle. But what I'd like is for you to get in front of the camera, get in front of the mic, and talk for one to three minutes about your book idea. Now, I don't care if it's fiction, if it's nonfiction. It's it's this cleansing. It's this de-virusing nastiness. So let's say I started the clock right now, and you don't know what to say. I'll use the example of Spark. Spark is my course, my workshop about writing a book together with your kids. They are going to be part of this group because they need to get a book done too. And here, here we go. Let me blab about it for a minute and you'll see where I'm going. And so, uh, all right, ready? (gasps) Spark is about building a better relationship with a child. I have a slight advantage because I've been working on my book for months. And I've got it down to that. But if I were just blabbing, I would say, uh, I want to use the experience that I did. I've written five books together with my kids. And what I really want to do is I, I want to share that experience with others because of all of the benefits it gave me to improve the relationship with my own kids. Now I'm writing a book together with my niece, and then I'm going to be writing a book together with my other niece. And he, here you go, here you go. This is what's exciting slash challenging slash out of my comfort zone. I'd like to reach out to other people who I don't already have such a good relationship with and work with them. And that's what I want for my Spark students, my Spark participants, okay? So I don't know if that was a minute or what, but that was sort of the idea, the core behind my book, Spark. That's what I'd like you to do for a minute, three minutes. And if you babble and you blather, that's okay. That's fine. We're kind of getting the junk out and you're going to find that little nugget and that's going to drive us through for the month. One more thing related is what they call an avatar, often called a customer avatar, your ideal reader. And if you can describe that person, and maybe you describe it in your description of your topic, then that's going to help us a whole lot down the way as well. Because when you can figure out who you're writing for, or to, or with, then that helps with so many aspects of writing the book, of publishing a book, of marketing the book. So here, who's my ideal uh, reader, my ideal student, my ideal participant in Spark would be, here, I'll take a real example. Um, a, okay, this is not me, but I'm thinking of somebody, a father who does not have such a great relationship with his 15-year-old son. And the kid's going to be out of the house in a few years, and he's worried, wow, am I ever going to have a, a good relationship with this, with this, this kid, my kid, my, my son. 
Uh, and, and how am I going to do that? And am I a child psychologist with a PhD and, you know, child blah, blah? No. Have I written books together with my kids? Yes. Have they gotten things like pride, creativity, uh, excitement, joy, unexpected, uh, unexpected odd benefits uh, for them as well? But pride, pride was a big one. Confidence, you know, wow, we did this thing. We did this thing from nothing. So it's a lot about the child development, but it's also about the adult development and it's about the relationship together. So who's my ideal uh, target would be like that 40 something, 50 something uh, uncle or father, someone who wants to have a better relationship together with their kid. So if you also think about your ideal avatar, your ideal reader for, the, for your book, that's gonna help in so many ways. So we have a one minute talk about your topic. And if you wanna interweave that with your ideal reader, great. If you wanna do two little videos, great, that's fine. I will show you how to share those with me. If you want to share them publicly with the group, that's awesome too. We're going to have a closed group here where uh, we're not going to set it out publicly and scare you and put this on the YouTube and laugh at you. We're going to laugh with you. Because <laughs> if I can laugh at myself, you can laugh at yourself. We're keeping it light, keeping it fun. I'm getting here with my dog in the forest. How, how serious can we get? All right, I'm stopping. That's it. Welcome to day one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right.